what does it mean to allow yourself the space to holistically heal from a traumatic experience so that you can recover quickly in a resilient, healthy way and not carry the burden of that trauma ongoingly for longer than necessary. Last week, I had a near-death experience and I wrote about it on my website, but the short version of that story is there was a police chase. I was trapped in the middle of an intersection when a truck going 70 miles an hour was coming straight for me. There was no shoulder trapped between cliffs. So one cliff going up, one cliff going down. In that moment with the truck coming at me, I truly thought that was the last thing I was gonna see. I've been in some car accidents and some dangerous situations in my life. That was the only time I truly thought I was gonna die. And the clenching that my body did in that moment, I didn't feel for another day and a half because the adrenaline was working so much in my system. And then there was the reliving of the memory and thinking about it. And that was really hard to just brush away at least the first two days. And when I relived that, I would cry again and really sense that, that moment of mortality. Maybe you've experienced something like this also, whether it was near death or just something very, very stressful in your life. But it wasn't gonna do me any good to say, well, other people are going through worse things. It doesn't matter. That's what I'm going through right now that needs to be addressed. What I see all over social media, which is so great, is this conversation around holistic healing, self-care, self-love, what does that mean? But a lot of it is really misused and overused in ways that aren't appropriate. Like drinking a giant glass of wine is not self-care. I'm curious if what I'm saying is ringing true for you also. So quickly leave me a comment below and say yes, if it is ringing true that self-care has become this very misused term in the social media space. Having been in this holistic, healthy, beauty, healing, well-being community for so long, my entire goal in those 24 hours was to lower my stress response and my cortisol levels to help the adrenaline work through the system and not have as much of it attached to my physical body as possible in negative, painful, traumatic patterns. I did all the steps that I outlined in my article. I'll put a link in the description below. I highly suggest you check it out. These are easy things to do, and some of them cost a little bit of money, like if you wanna to go to a chiropractor, maybe your insurance will cover it. Some of it's just vitamin-based or food-based or body tapping. That's free, you can look that up on YouTube. Brad Yates is one of my favorite people on that. Because the harder work is to actually dip into your intuition. Something we've been told that is like illogical and stupid, just some emotional jibble jabble that doesn't mean anything. It doesn't matter if you get more done in your day, if you feel like poop. Self-care means you're doing it. You're taking personal responsibility for how you move through the process. And yeah, it kind of sucked that I lost the productivity that I really was excited about last week. Because I had little ego, Kristen, sitting on the shoulder going like, you have so much work to do. But I knew that if I did not care for my body, I would end up in a position that I had ended up before many times in my life by trying to push through. It took me longer to unravel the giant mess I had created. So what I'm encouraging you to do is to really take stock of how you treat yourself when you go through any level of trauma. Are you truly offering self-care? Are you truly honoring your needs? Are you giving yourself love and kindness? because that's really the most important thing. Give yourself that space and room and really commit to taking the action to not just check out and ask yourself what you need and offer that to yourself. You've got the answers. You're the one who knows. It's usually the quiet voice, the first thing you hear, that's the one that really sounds like something helpful, that oftentimes the ego <laughs> jumps right back on the shoulder and goes, Oh my God, that's so stupid, don't do that. No, that'd be a waste of time. Oh my God. Because hashtag self-care, it's not just something to be like, yes, agreed. It's something to commit to. It's something to take action on. It's something to embody as a part of your journey through holistic healing and healthy beauty. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking the little red subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload a new video because they wanna all be like this, sometimes they're gonna be makeup tutorials, beauty tips, 
products I love to help benefit you along your path with green beauty, natural living, holistic well-being, and it comes from decades of my professional experience. And if you would like help greening your beauty routine, grab a free copy of my Toss the Toxins Toolkit to give you easy instructions on how to get rid of the junk that is probably lurking in your makeup bag. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you here again.